Welcome to more tips on being successful with your ocarina right out of the box. In this video, we're going to talk about how to hold your ocarina in general, and especially how to support the instrument on your highest notes. First of all, let's talk in general terms about how you want to hold or grip your ocarina. I suggest that you let your fingers uh, achieve a, a slight curve and that you keep your fingers relaxed. Uh, except, you know, your pinkies might be a little straighter because they're shorter, but the idea is relaxed, slightly curved fingers. This, as opposed to fingers bent back in a death grip so that you won't, so you can seal these tone holes. As I mentioned previously, sealing tone holes is not about pressure. It's about correct placement, and that just comes with a little bit of practice. Why don't you want to grip your ocarina tightly like that? Well, it's, it's a lot like martial arts. In martial arts, you want to keep your upper body relaxed. If you tighten up and lock in, uh, what you'll find is it slows you way down. You need to stay loose and agile. In the same way, you want your fingers to stay relaxed so that they can lightly dance over their corresponding tone holes. Um, next point I want to make is what kind of angle do you want as you're playing the ocarina? Well, angle it down at approximately 45 minutes. It's not so critical. You just don't want to do the old uh, pan flute approach where you got it down like this or where you're keeping it level or pointed up so you can stare in a cross-eyed manner at your fingers while you play. As a beginner, it's okay if you look at your fingers some, obviously, but you want to get out of that habit gradually. Why? Because... Again, if you want to play at a virtuoso level someday, it will definitely slow you down playing with your fingers. I suggest that you close your eyes or do whatever you need to do to get out of that habit. Rather, you want to feel the music through your fingers, through your entire body. You listen to yourself. Feel the music. Don't get in the habit of staring at your fingers as you play. Now let's talk about how to support your ocarina on the highest notes. Uh, first of all, let me show you how this is done. I'll just switch mic. Okay, now let me show you what I did. I started out at the bottom of the scale and I'm walking up it do, do, do. By the way, you can see why I'm an instrumentalist instead of a vocalist here. Do, 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 do. I get to about that note right there. Uh, let's see. I get to that note right there, and then I let go. Do, and I feel like I'm going to drop the ocarina. Now, obviously, I'm experienced at this, so it's the ocarina feels like part of my hands, and it will for you, too, at some point. But at first, when you're uh, uncovering all the tone holes to play your highest notes, it may feel a little like you're trying to grip a wet bar of soap. So, when you get to those highest notes, just lightly support the ocarina with your right pinky. And that allows you to leave all your other fingers in place. And even your right pinky is pretty close to its tone hole. See, what you don't want to do is get in the habit of going like this, uh, holding it like this or like this or all any number of ways that you might hold the ocarina on the high notes. Why? Because if you want to play like a virtuoso someday, and I, I hope you do on this wonderful instrument, you'll need to always keep your playing fingers close to their corresponding tone holes. So again, like that, lightly supporting it with your right pinky. Now, you're going to have to think about this consciously at first. 
But after a couple weeks of making yourself do it, it becomes automatic. If I start going up the scale, I don't have to think to put my right pinky down at the bottom of the instrument. It does it automatically, and your pinky will do that too. Now let's talk about how to get clear musical high notes on your ocarina. The first thing I like to tell people is to be realistic in terms of your expectations. You will eventually play very clear musical high notes, but not immediately, in most cases, unless you have an incredible music background. Um, where do clear high notes come from? Well, first of all, you need to, for really clear high notes, you need sufficient blowing pressure. If you blow too weakly, of course, that will not give you enough breath support. And also, you'll learn to play with kind of an open, uh, an open, relaxed throat instead of a closed, tight throat. And uh, finally, I think the biggest key is play the instrument over time and listen to it. Become, <laughs> sounds cliched, but become one with the instrument. Become attuned to its nuances. As you play it and you listen, over time you'll become more and more musical with the instrument. I'll leave you with a couple thoughts. First of all, just stay relaxed and enjoy playing. If you find your shoulders up tight or your hands gripping too tightly, just relax. When you breathe, breathe deeply from the abdomen. We'll talk about that in future videos. And uh, handle your ocarina a lot. If you wear it around your neck, just holding it, I'll teach you in future videos different fingering exercises you do, but just holding it and playing it, uh, it will become, your ocarina will become like part of your hands over time.